This was the first year that industrial hemp was grown in South Dakota. Kettleland's Ariana Schumacher spoke with industry leaders about how the season went. Good morning, Ariana. Good morning, Travis. A panel of speakers recapped the state's production year at the South Dakota Farmers Union State Convention yesterday. They touched on the challenges and successes of the new crop while working to educate and encourage future hemp producers in the state. This year was monumental for 12 South Dakota farmers. It was their first year growing a new crop, industrial hemp. B.J. McNeil saw this as a new opportunity for his organic operation. Hemp is a very competitive plant. We're always looking for competitive plants to plant in our fields to help choke out our weeds so we don't have to do a lot of tillage and disturb the soil a lot through the growing season. So the hemp flies out of the ground, extremely aggressive. If you start clean, it'll outcompete any weed. And that was one of the main reasons we wanted to use it to help clean some fields up. And then also in the organic uh, side of it, the profit was really good. But he did face some challenges. There was some trial and error when it came to drying the grain after harvest. Planting it super easy, combining it not too difficult, managing the seed is where the trick is. And then the final trick obviously make sure you have a market. Agricultural leaders are excited for the opportunities hemp brings to the state. So it was a pretty exciting year. Um, we're seeing some really good uh, yields. Uh, sounds like the seed quality off some of these plants is really good. So um, exciting times, waiting for the processing to kick in now and see what the return on investment truly is. It's an opportunity uh, for the farmers to have a new crop for their rotation and also it means a uh, possibility of uh, different jobs that come along with the processing of that crop. Right now there's only one CBD hemp processing plant in South Dakota but they anticipate that there will be more in the coming years. It's definitely going to grow and uh, keep up with the uh, growers, and uh, the growers will have a place to go with their crops. McNeil offered some words of advice for those interested in growing the crop. So make sure, number one, you're ready to handle the wet grain at harvest time. Number two, make sure you have a market. Don't speculate. Farmers who are interested in adding industrial hemp to their crop rotation must work with the South Dakota Department of Agriculture to get the proper licensing and certification. While they can do this at any time of the year, they're encouraged to do it as soon as possible so there's time to prepare for the next growing season.